Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the Windows Resource Protection could not perform the requested operation. And this occurs when you're attempting to run a command in the command line window. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process on how to resolve this issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and search for services. Best match or come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go down and locate the Windows Modules Installer service and double click on it. You want to make sure service status is running, so let's go ahead and select the Start option. And then you'll select Apply and OK. You may also want to consider setting the startup type to Manual or Automatic if it's disabled. Generally, Manual should be good enough, so I'd recommend setting it to Manual if it was presently disabled. And then you would select Apply and OK. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu, type in CMD, best result, should go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select yes. And now I will have a command in the description of my video guys, I want you to copy it. It's a DISM command. And then go up the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and then paste it in. Hit enter to begin the scan, this will take a couple minutes to run so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and type in CHK, DSK, space forward slash R, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter. It should say that check disk cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? Tap the Y key on your keyboard and then hit enter. So this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. You want to close out of here and then proceed to restart your computer. And it's going to prompt if you want to skip the disk checking, press any key. Do not press any keys on your keyboard. I'm going to press a key because I don't want the scan to go on for too long. It's going to make the video too long. So I just wanted to skip over it. And then once you boot back into Windows, hopefully you should be good to go. If you want to go ahead and run the system file checker utility, if that's where this error message was coming up from from the beginning, go ahead and attempt to run that command. And hopefully you should be good to go. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.